The deadly litter of war. Cluster bombs dropped on southern Lebanon during the 2006 conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. Cluster bombs dropped from the air or fired from the ground explode and scatter small and potentially lethal bomblets over a wide area. When they fail to detonate on impact, they can lie dormant but still dangerous for years. Charities say most cluster bomb victims are civilians, not soldiers. Nearly a third are children. The Convention on Cluster Munitions bans the production, use and transfer of the weapons. It sets deadlines for the destruction of stockpiles and the clearance of contaminated land. It also requires signatories to help cluster bomb survivors. Campaigners say it's the most significant disarmament treaty for more than a decade. It's not very often that you can see uh, campaigners and ordinary people making a real difference. And we've been able to turn what was said to be impossible, banning cluster bombs, only seven years ago, into a reality with this new treaty entering into force. But the United States and some of the world's other major military powers, including Russia and China, are refusing to sign the convention. They insist cluster bombs have legitimate military uses. Campaigners, though, believe the treaty will discourage non-signatories from using the weapons in future. They hope it will stigmatize cluster bombs to the extent that no country will be able to use them again without attracting international condemnation. Stuart Hughes, BBC News.